Some strange things have been happening in Mauritania. I met a man at the tavern in Canopus. His name was Vans from Klaus. He expressed his concern to me about his friends, who were in need of dire assistance, a group of freedom fighters known as the Meyerkey. He asked me to deliver some weapons to their hideout to help the cause, and without knowing better, I agreed. Following his instructions, I made my way to Morton, where a boatman named Cyrig Paddlehorn could help me find the Meyerkey. He was hesitant, but after some convincing, gave me directions to their hideout. I made my way through the swamp and discovered a narrow, winding cave. There was a small hole in the wall next to a stalagmite that led to a large room full of people. These were the Meyerkey. I introduced myself and handed over the weapons. The group's leader, Feliaf, was pleased but said he wasn't expecting anyone. Before I could respond, an ominous mist entered the cave. It turned into Vanstrom Klaus. He killed Sani and Harold right in front of our eyes, then transformed into a horrible beast. As quickly as he'd arrived, he vanished into a cloud of smoke. Shooken up by the incident, I explained to Valiath how I met Fanstrom, and he told me the full story. The Meyerkey is a resistance group fighting back against the Drakens, an evil family of vampires who rule over the Sanguinesti region of Mauritania. Their leader, Lord Lorneal Draken, has been enslaving humans for generations to satisfy his thirst for blood. Fanstrom is the leader of Lord Draken's personal vanguard, the Virewatch. He used me to lead him right into the Meyerkey's lair. Stunned by what Veliev told me, I knew there was only one thing I could do. Agree to help Veliev and the Meyerkey put an end to the vampire's tyranny, once and for all. A lot's happened since that day. With our old hideout compromised, we needed to relocate. Veliev told me about a small township south of Morton called Berg de Rat a decrepit place filled with escapees from the Sanguinesti region. I traveled there and fixed up the town, gaining the trust of the locals. While repairing one of the buildings, I discovered a hidden basement that we turned into our new base of operations. Once we were situated, Veliev shared some information with me. Long ago, there were seven warrior priests who helped drive out the darkness from Mistlin into Mauritania. One of these priests, Ivanda Sirgaze, was said to use an enchanted rod which held great power against the darkness. It's believed that the seven warriors were buried underneath Pater Domus, the temple on the river Sel. But rumor has it that Ivandus is actually buried somewhere in Mauritania, along with his divine rod. With this information, I set off to see what I could find. I made my way to Pater Domus to see if Drezel knew anything about this. He didn't, but gave me a key to the temple's library to do my own research. I found a book called The Sleeping Seven, which contained a passage written by Ivandus' brothers in arms. They described his resting place being boarded up inside an intricate cavern underneath the Mortmire Swamp. I just so happened to know of a place that matched the description. Affixed to Ivandus' tomb was his silk tool rod. Finding Ivandus' rod set our plan into motion. Our next mission was to infiltrate Mire Ditch and make contact with the Sanguinesti Order of the Mirekey. This once beautiful city known as Hollowvale was now a run-down ghetto controlled by Lord Draken's brother and sister, Rannis and Venescula. I rode to Meyer Ditch's perimeter from Berg de Rat. Once inside, I made my way through the maze-like city, following signs that led me to the Meyerkey's hideout. There, I met Safalon, the leader of the Meyerkey's Sanguinesi Order, and offered him my help. I was tasked with scoping out Castle Draken. While making a sketch of the area, I was ambushed by Vanstrom. He would have killed me if it weren't for his servant, Sirius Guile. She had an interest in Safalon and was willing to help the Meyerkey out. She told me of a secret laboratory in the northeastern corner of Meyer Ditch, which contained information that could be of use to us. We discovered old experiments in a book filled with research on the vampire's strengths and weaknesses. While Safalon took the book back to the hideout to study further, I returned to Veliaf and Berg de Rat to fill him in on all that's transpired. Back in Meyer Ditch, while our lead researcher Flagian was translating the book we found, we continued to carry out missions. We had received news that Vanstrom Klaus and Rana Strachan were spotted entering the Theater of Blood together. This was no ordinary event, so we decided to investigate. I scaled the theater's walls and found a window where Rannis and Vanstrom could be seen meeting with Versen Haas's ruler, Lady Verzik. She had with her a revolting creature, which she handed over to Rannis. She said this abomination was able to hunt down and put an end to the Meyerkey. I made my way back to the hideout as quickly as I could and told Safalon we needed to leave. With no time to spare, we began packing our things, but it was too late. The monstrosity had found us. It 
tore through the hideout, killing the Myrkey one by one before coming for us. Safal and Vertida and I barely made it out alive. We didn't have time to mourn. We had to move on. There was an old hideout near the south end of town that we migrated to. Although this event was horrible, it gave us the perfect opportunity to strike back. With Flagian's notes, we were able to combine the Rod of Avandus with a silver sickle to create a flail that was powerful enough to use against the vampires. Grannis gathered all of Meyerditch together in Burzen Haza to announce the Myrkis' defeat. This was our only chance at redeeming ourselves and giving the people of Mauritania a true taste of hope. It's time to atone, Rannis, for the sins of the Father. <laughs>